Welcome back to So You Really Want to Learn Latin and today as promised we are going to look at a couple of compounds of sum and a little pronoun which is quidem. Okay so we'll start with the compounds of sum. These are ad sum and ab sum. Okay now ad sum means I am present and ab sum means I am absent. And to learn about these little fellows, there really isn't very much work for you to do because they are sum with either ad on the front or ab on the front, okay? So the principal parts of ad sum are ad sum, ad esse, ad fui, okay? Absolutely nothing funny at all. And it's going to go in the present tense ad sum, ad es, ad est, ad summus, ad desis, ad sunt, okay? Really, really easy. Future, adero, adoris, adorit, adorimus, adoritis, adorunt. Imperfect, adoram, adoras, adorat, adoramus, adoratis, adorant. And then the perfect tense, ad fui, ad fuisti, ad fuit, ad fuimus, ad fuistis, ad fuerunt, and so on. Okay, really nothing funny about ad sum. It's a really useful little verb to have. Because if you want to say something like um, Caesar was here in the forum, you know, was here. How, how would you say Caesar was here? You might try and say, well, I'm not even going to tell you what you might try and say because it would be wrong. You want to be using the verb ad sum. Caesar adorat. Caesar was present. Now that's quite fun because it reminds us of that silly little schoolboy ditty Caesar had some jam for tea, Pompey had a rat. Okay. Uh, Caesar had some jam for tea, Pompey had a rat, uh, which is quite jolly. Um, now, the other thing about Adsum, which you probably recognise, is that uh, well known carol, Adeste Fidelis. Adeste Fidelis. Uh, o come all you faithful. So, Adeste is the plural imperative of ad sum, meaning literally, be present, fidelis, O faithful ones. Okay, so that's ad sum, nice little thing. Uh, at school, our roll call was called ad sum. And, you know, they used to call out your names, and they call your name, Alton, and then you'd say sum, short for ad sum, meaning I'm here. Okay, now, absum, equally useful, but not really as common. It means I am not here, I am absent. And the only thing you need to watch out for this one is the principal parts are absum, abesse, and then afui. Okay, a long A, afui. But apart from that, it conjugates exactly like you would expect. Absum, ab es, ab est, absumus, ab estis, absunt, and so on. Okay, no funny tricks. And the perfect tense, afui, afuisti, afuit, and so on. Okay, so two little compounds of some really useful ones, particularly add to some, and nothing to learn apart from maybe the principal parts of uh, absum, going absum, ab esse, afui. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, now we're going to nail that little pronoun I mentioned, quidam. Now, quidam, again, you're going to love me for this, not really anything to learn, because we're just going qui qui quod with dam on the end. Okay, so we're just going, and you'll notice this is qui qui quod, but there's just a couple of little spelling things. We sometimes see this, uh, where an M becomes an N, okay, but... Essentially, here we go, quidam, quidam, quodam, or quidam. I'll come back to that. Quendam, notice quen, not quem. Quendam, quandam, quodam, or quidam. Quiesam, 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 quidam, 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 quodam, quodam, quodam. And then the plural really easy. Quidam, 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 quostam, quastam, quidam, quorun, with an N. Quorundam, quarundam, quorundam, quibistam, 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 quibistam. And as you might expect, that's qu 
quibistem or quistem? Because remember, qui quai quadrin, um, qui quai quai, quis quas quai, quorum quorum quorum, quibis or quis, quibis or quis, quibis or quis, remember that? Quibis or quis, quibis or quis, quibis or quis. Well, quidem also is quibistem or quistem. Okay, so there it all is. Uh, you know, and what does it mean? Uh -huh, I forgot to tell you what it means. It means a certain. Quidem means a certain. Now, it is most commonly used of a person. So if you want to introduce someone who has not been mentioned before, you want to say something like, a farmer came into a room, or if it was a joke, you know, a publican came into a bar and said, okay. So when you say a farmer, and it's not a farmer you know about, it's, it's just a kind of a new person. He is a, a certain farmer. Agricola quidam. And it's quite clever because you can use it on its own um, without even, you know, having a noun like agricola. So if you said quidam filium habuit, that would mean a certain masculine nominative singular person. So in other words, a certain man had a son, filium habuit. And then the only other thing we've got to talk about is those two forms in the um, neuter singular. We have either quidam or quadam. Okay, and there is a distinction here. Quidam is a pronoun. Quadam is an adjective. So if you want to say, um, I fear a certain thing. Okay, I fear a certain thing. I could say, Timeo quidam. It's almost like saying, I fear something. But if you want to say, I fear a certain danger, you know, a specific danger, that would be Timeo quadam periculum. Okay, so if your quidam word is is being used in agreement with a noun as an adjective, then it's quadam. If it's been used on its own as a pronoun in place of a noun, then it's quidam. Okay? Right, so nice easy stuff today. We've got adsum and absum, really useful verbs, and you already knew them before you even started. And we've got another pronoun, quidam, and again, you already knew it before we even started. Uh, with that one, it is qui quai quod, but where we go quem, the Romans sort of struggled with going quem dam, so it went quen dam. And remember, Romans had this habit of an M nasalizing it, so it's pugnam, not pugnam, you know, they a final M was nasalized and internalized, I think is how we describe it. Um, so it's not that surprising that in a word like quemdam, they're, they're trying to avoid the quen noise. Uh, and it ended up as an N, quemdam. But then that dam at the end would have been nasalized and kind of mm. So you should get quen, quendam. Sounds too horrible, really, to say, but uh, it's, you know, the purists would probably try and say quendang. Okay, that's enough about that. Uh, now, to finish off, otherwise you've really had no word to do at all today, we're going to put into Latin a slab of English, okay? Now, too often we do a slab of Latin into English. This time, we're going to do a slab of English into Latin, okay? So we are going to, we are coming to the end of chapter one in book three, and we're going to have a little go at exercise 115, okay? And we're going to put this lot into Latin. Okay, so off we go. A Carthaginian general called Hannibal lived in Africa. Okay, a Carthaginian general. Right, Imperator, now, Quite a good way of introducing our little friend Quidam would be to start off here and go Imperator Quidam Punicus 
Numine Hannibal, lived in Africa, in Africa Habitabat. Okay, nice and easy stuff. Once upon a time, he set out from there and came into Spain. Olim. Now from there, in there, profectus est, et in Hispaniam venit. Okay, now that's two little clauses. We could improve upon that and say, once upon a time, having set out from there, rather than saying he set out from there and, which is what I did just then, we're going to say, having set out from there, he came into uh, Spain. And that would simply be, in de profectus, in Hispaniam venit. Okay, so we've cut out the et, we've turned the first verb, profectus est, into simply profectus, and it's much neater. Remember in our last video we were talking about how you can use a participle to cut out some of the clauses. Okay, on we go. Here he waged many wars and captured many Roman soldiers. Okay, Latin for here is hic, rhyming with squeak. Uh, so, hic uh, multa bella gerebat. He, made, he waged many wars and captured many Roman soldiers. Et multos milites romanos capiebat. Okay, on we go. Walking in silence with the other generals, one day he adopted this plan. Now, one day, the uh, best way to say one day is as if it was once upon a time. It's olim, you know, once. So, olim, walking in silence. And the best way to say in silence is uh, uh, to describe him with an adjective, silent. So Tacitus is the Latin for silent. So olim Tacitus ambulance. So he has been described as silent and he has been described as walking. Olim Tacitus ambulance with the other generals cum aliis imperatoribus. And then the main bit of the sentence, he adopted this plan. Hoc concilium capit. Okay, concilium capio is the Latin for to adopt a plan. He decided to lead his army into the mountains and from there into Italy. So he decided, it'll come further down the track, but it'll be constituit, he decided to lead his army, exercitum ducere, into the mountains, in montes, and now we can have that verb, constituit, and from there into Italy, et inde, in Italiam. Okay, some praised the plan, others were a little afraid. Now we've learnt how to do some and others, it's alii, alii. Okay, so uh, what have we got? Some praise the plan, alii concilium laudabant, alii paulum timebant. Paulum, the adverb meaning a little, you know, a, a, a not very much. Paulum timebant. But Hannibal who was very brave, did not fear the dangers of the journey. Okay, said Hannibal, comma, who was very brave, qui fortissimus erat, did not fear the dangers of the journey, pericula itineris non timebat. Okay, there we go, that wasn't too hard, was it? Uh, amazingly good practice for you to translate into Latin. I really can't stress that enough. Do always 
in particular when you're going through this book, always, always, always do the sentences from English into Latin. It is by far the best way of checking you've understood the new grammar that we're learning. Okay? All right, now, next time, if you can believe the excitement, we are going to move on to something called the ablative absolute, which is just one of the most amazing little constructions in Latin. Can't wait for that. So, see you back here on this channel very soon. Do subscribe if you haven't already, and keep up the good work.